experience, so I am deeply uncertain about what I've done. It all just happened so quickly, and now I don't know what I've done. Welcome to Drive. In this video, I'm gonna open this box and you're gonna see what's in it. But first I gotta explain why it's taken me so long to get to this point. I received this box on Monday and I started posting about the fact that I had a new watch as soon as the box arrived. And I put forward the idea that I have to wait until the right moment to open a new watch. And then the longer the time has gone, the more I've carried this box around and the more the moment has eluded me because it's now Friday and I need to open this fucking box. This has just got to happen. But before I do, I do want to explain why this took so long. I bought this watch impulsively and I bought it when a guy called Tim Vo posted a picture of this watch that I'd seen at Watches and Wonders and had felt some excitement about, but didn't feel that I was anywhere near pulling the trigger. And then Tim posted a picture and I texted the Australian rep and then called her the next day and said, I have to have this watch. So that, that's that, that's how quickly it happened. The second reason that I'm scared to open this box is I didn't spend more than two minutes with this watch in real time at Watches and Wonders. So I am deeply uncertain about what I've done. It all just happened so quickly and now I don't know what I've done. <sighs> Number four is that it was quite expensive. So the stakes are quite high with this impulsive decision. And number five is, like I said, I am a bit of a weirdo and I have to feel that the moment is right for this quality, never to be forgotten reveal happens. And it's late on Friday. I've drawn this out over a week, not for the content, though it seems that way. And now it just has to happen. We just, this moment, this fruit must be tasted. By the way, welcome to Tribe. This is where we do videos like this, where we tell stories and, and take our time and, and torture you. Frankly, this is this is torturous. Uh, so I'm gonna, but I am gonna give you a bone. I'm gonna throw you a bone right now. This is a Tag Heuer Carrera glass box model. At this point, I'm gonna let you guess which one. It could be the glass box Panda. Chrono, which just came out uh, this year. I love this watch actually. This has got the little pip of red, super sexy racing color combination. It could be the Midnight Blue glass box Carrera from the Ryan Gosling challenge. You remember that video where I was asking celebrities whether they would have the reverse panda or the Midnight Blue. I think I chose the Midnight Blue. Or maybe it's the Skipper. Could it be the Skipper? It could also be the OG, the first ever Tag Heuer Carrera glass box model, which I launched, was at the launch of in Los Angeles. And this model and I clearly have some history. We have been on the whole journey. At that Los Angeles launch, I was the first person in the world to interview Ryan Gosling in person for Tag Heuer as a Tag Heuer ambassador and he was wearing this watch. So it was all very much in the stars that maybe I'd eventually get one. But the spanner in the works is that it's a model that I've taken a long time to get to even get used to. And as recently as last year, when About If In Time rampaged through the Tag Heuer stand, I still wasn't sure whether I liked the way this dial happens with this skate ramp style half pipe and then the berm like the way that it curves up under the edges of the glass box but there's a micron of space between the crystal and the rail it's all very unusual so 
obviously I got over my issues because in this box is one of these models and I suppose when you tell the story it shouldn't be a surprise that I've landed in this place so it's time to to see <laughs> if that was the right decision let's go I'm gonna do that so there's been quite a build-up to this aside from the recent social media nonsense of me walking around with this box waiting for the right moment to strike all right so this is this is what i'm looking at right now <laughs> so far so good this is this is the right brand all right <sighs> let's do this oh the tension Okay, I've never done an unboxing before properly. <sighs> well, there it is. The Tag Heuer Skipper Rose Gold with the most luscious navy blue dial. By the way, the camera is eating first here. I really should be having this moment with my eyes. This is true commitment to the task. <sighs> wow. Now I can see why I'm doing this. Look at how lush that blue is and the way that those colors, they're so saturated. Bloody beautiful. Good job, Andrew. Good impulsive decision, Andrew. <laughs> Fabric strap. I can't wait to try this on a few different straps. And just little touches like, now I'm going to take it. Just little touches here. If we go to the side. Little touches like the framing of the subdial registers in also in rose gold. And for the first time, I'm noticing that there's a frame of, of the subdial register that is almost like a cushion or a, a raised, almost like a, a, a raised chapter ring, which maybe emulates the way that the, the dial has this, this extra uh, double-sided rail. But, oh boy. And also this is reminding me why I love the Midnight Blue, the way that the subdial, the running seconds at six, I've got to give this a wind actually. It doesn't have a, a circular ring. It's just a, a sort of a, an open subdial with the, the indices as the only thing to mark the extent of that. My hands are shaking a little bit. <laughs> so let's give it a wind. Wow, what a weird thing to do, to buy a watch like this pretty much sight unseen. First time on wrist. Oh, yes. That feeling when you put a watch on and it just drops into place lug to lug look at those angled lugs i love that there's satin polished and and uh, satin brushed and and really polished elements to the lugs oh, it's feeling really good on the wrist and feels heavy on the wrist in that rose gold so let's close this off the first time on wrist I don't do unboxing videos and I think I know why. Live processing a watch is, is not easy because not necessarily everything is able to be articulated in that moment. And I'm gonna take a little more time now to, to enjoy this, but I wanted to take you on the journey. I, I tortured everyone by carrying the box around. That wasn't a stunt. I wanted to be completely clear of mind, clear of schedule, ready to absorb what is a really meaningful purchase for me. I'm not going to tell you right now what, what this watch represents and why I'm purchasing it and what is so funny about the way this has come into my life. That'll be for another day. But for now, I own a Tag Heuer Rose Gold Skipper. It's on my wrist uh, feeling very at home. 
and very comfortable already. What do you think of this watch? What do you think of the Glassbox Carrera collection? Has it re-sparked your interest in the Carrera? Do you think that it achieves what it sets out to do, which is to bring the Carrera to a, a new hybrid positioning of having heritage tones, but being very much a modern watch? By the way, it's so heavy actually that it's, it's, <laughs> it's actually needing to be a little bit tighter on the wrist. Uh, leave us alone, please, now. Uh, I'm going to enjoy my weekend with my brand new rose gold skipper. But do tell me what you think of my decision and what you think of this watch. Thanks for watching. Thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for being patient. And I'll see you on the next video. And thanks for watching Tribe. This is Tribe. Tribe is, is where it's all happening for us in the next little stretch. So more to come. See you soon.